So full disclosure, not a millionaire, not by any means yet, but I do plan to be one day. And I think a lot of people do. And it's not because we want to be super wealthy or we're greedy. It's because it's highly likely we're going to need a million dollars at some point in the future when our bodies, our brains, or both, or for some other reason, we can't work any longer. And I say at least a million dollars because inflation might make it three to 10 times that. So whether you're on a financial independence journey or you just think you might want to retire someday or you just want protection in case you're forced into retirement, becoming a millionaire is what a lot of people put as their goal. So I've been looking into how millionaires get that way and stay that way. And I want to share with you today what I've found. This is kind of a bonus episode number four with what a lot of people don't think about on this journey toward being a millionaire. So welcome to the Fife Movement. Whoa, hit my microphone. I'm your host, Amanda Neely. This is the only movement that helps our generation create our unique feminine and entrepreneurial path to financial independence. Please be sure to subscribe, and then if you're watching on YouTube, hit that bell so that you get notifications of future episodes. Now, the last three episodes have been about the three other big threats to becoming a millionaire. They are volatility, fees, and taxes. Today, I want to talk about a bonus, number four, and this one isn't something that someone else is going to do to your money. This is all about you. Honestly, before volatility, before fees, before taxes, likely the biggest threat to becoming a millionaire is you and me, right? (laughs) Like we get in our own way. And it's not that there's anything wrong with us. It's actually part of how we've been nurtured by our culture to believe more is better. And that's partly why you want to be a millionaire in the first place, so that you can have more. But if you're like most Americans and increasingly the rest of the world too, you don't want more later. More later isn't better. More now is better. Yet, if we look at the last 120 years as this more is better myth has taken over our culture, we can start to see that more is better leads to dissatisfaction and to not being very happy. Now, I don't want you to get mad at me I'm not judging you or anything. I grew up in the same culture. I have my own more is better baggage. But I do believe that if we can shift our mindset from more is better, that we can keep ourselves from becoming such a big threat to becoming a millionaire. And, you know, like, it's not because like becoming a millionaire is bad. I'm not saying like what... I'm still saying we probably should have that as our goal, right? We want more um, is better for our retirement than less in you know, in terms of making sure we're able to cover expenses, not eating cat food, you know, stuff like that. But um, if we're, that's kind of putting that million dollar goal or whatever your goal is, that's the, and that's not saying more, that's, kind of more like saying what's going to be enough, right? For me to live the life I want to live. What's going to be enough that I'm not worrying and stressed out all the time. So what if the whole search, um, the whole thing in life wasn't about more, but enough? What if the idea was that enough is better rather than more is better? And I'm talking like enough is enough, right? Work enough, play enough, spend enough, save enough, give enough, sleep enough, right? That we feel like and could go on and on with all the enoughs. Um, There's lots of things. And if we have just enough of those things, we can feel pretty happy about it. We don't always need more. Now, this is not totally about being frugal. It might be frugal in some areas that you don't really care about, right? That enough there is less than enough somewhere else. But it doesn't have to feel as restrictive as many think frugal living is. Now, my dad used to say, it's not what you eat, but how much. He was kind of trying to say, you can have your sweets. You can have, you know, some coffee. You can do this. You can do that. But just don't have all of it, right? Don't eat the whole cake because more cake isn't always better. 
but also something like spinach, you just ate a whole big container of spinach, more spinach might not be better either. I think we get that with nutrition, right? You, you know, enough is enough. You don't overeat. You don't, you know, overeat one thing at the lack of another thing. You need that balance within your, your, what you're eating. Um, and I hate that word balance. You just need enough of all the things, right? Enough vitamins, enough minerals, enough protein, that kind of idea. But what if that idea of enough was everywhere? Enough is going to look differently for each of us, especially when it comes to money and the things money allows us to do. But we may be surprised when we switch from more is better to enough is better, how much or how little is really enough and how our definition of enough changes over time. So today, I wanna to simply invite you to consider what your life would be like if your quest was to find enough instead of more and how that would impact your ability to become a millionaire. Now, let me say that again. What would your journey be like if your goal was enough and not more? And how would that stop you from being a threat to your future self becoming a millionaire? Thanks for joining me and connecting with the Fife Movement. As you go about your day today, remember, wealth is coming your way. You're probably going to have a million dollars flow through your life from, you know, birth to grave, likely to see a million dollars, if not way more. Your quest is to prepare for using it well, as best as you can um, with, you know, what's given to you. So for more tips on how to prepare, be sure to subscribe and to connect with the community, visit fifemovement.com. My gift has helped you today. Please pay this gift forward by sharing this content with a friend. My gratitude in advance. To help this video be seen by more people, please hit that like button. We invite your feedback in the comments as well. What does enough mean to you?